Eye on Health, brought to you by Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare. It's estimated that 25% of adults have a small opening between the upper chambers of the heart called a PFO. And this opening can increase the risk of a blood clot traveling from the heart to the brain, resulting in a stroke. Luckily, there's a newly approved device that is designed to close that opening through a minimally invasive procedure. And Dr. Bill Dixon from Tallahassee Memorial is here to tell us more. Dr. Dixon, how would a person know if they need a PFO closure? Typically, uh, they would come in with an unexplained stroke. Um, these are patients that don't have traditional risk factors for strokes, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, or smoking, and are found to have a PFO. What are the benefits of this over the traditional way of treating it? So the traditional treatment is blood thinners um, indefinitely. So especially for a younger patient, if we can close the defect, then they don't need to be on blood thinners the rest of their life. And recent trial uh, indicates that device closure is more effective than blood thinners at preventing a second stroke. And how does it work? Uh, this is a minimally, minimally invasive procedure that we do in the cath lab. We insert a catheter in the groin up to the heart, uh, uh, advance a device through the defect. It's like a clamshell. It closes the defect from each side. It takes about 30 minutes, um, light anesthesia, and the patient goes home the next morning. Wow. Who's a good candidate for this? Uh, a good candidate is a younger patient who comes in with a stroke with no uh, traditional risk factors for stroke and no other explanation. And this is only available here at Tallahassee Memorial? Currently, we're the only one in the panhandle that has this device. That's great. Thank you so much, Dr. Dixon. You're welcome. To learn more about heart care at Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare, please visit tmh.org slash heart.